I want to talk about newcomers in the Big 12 Conference. Which can step in and provide a major impact for their respective teams? Blake, going to you, which freshman should everyone be watching as we enter the 2022 season? Well, Texas has invested in their offensive line for the first time in a while. And so I think you really have to look at, at, at their 2022 uh, uh, group of offensive linemen. They've got Devin Campbell, who's probably going to be a guard, and Kelvin Banks, who's probably going to be a tackle. I would expect both of those guys to be starters by the, at some point during the season. Maybe at the beginning of the season, it might be towards the end of the year, but I think before the year is out, both of those guys will be starters, and there might even be another one in there. I mean, Cole Hudson uh, has looked good early on in, in the spring. He was one of the early enrollees that they had. But I think Texas is going to uh, going to have a new look offensive line. They might have some growing pains, but I think those are two guys to really keep an eye out because that's what's going to limit their offense, if anything, this year is their offensive line. Keep an eye out for Neto Umiazulu, too. I got to watch him at Allen High, and he is a freak of nature. If those offensive linemen at Texas can put it together, one of the best offensive line classes we've seen in the past couple of cycles could help out the Longhorns a lot as they try to reestablish themselves in the Big 12 Conference. 